we doing guys? Welcome back to the Bonville Cocktail Collection. It's London Cocktail Week. We were heading down for a look and we thought we'd take you along with us. Hi Tom, thanks for chatting to us today. Tell us about the brand you're representing at London Cocktail Week this year. So this year I am with uh, Morning Syrups, where we have a fairground theme, as you probably can see. All the drinks and the whole vibe is about sort of high energy and fun. Tom, what cocktail are you going to make for us? I'm going to make you the apple pie margarita. So we've got some Blanco tequila, apple pie syrup, so about 20 ml of the syrup, and our lime rancho. Good shake. And on the edge of the glass, we've got a black sea salt rim. There we go. Enjoy. Be honest. <laughs> That's actually really nice. Oh, the sea salt is well tasty. Yeah, I could drink a lot of those. Yeah, they're dangerous. Yeah. Thanks, thanks a lot for that. My pleasure, Thank man. You. The drink that I'm putting together is uh, called Don't Call Me Shirley. Um, it's basically an alcoholic twist on a Shirley Temple. Don't Call Me Shirley is a reference to uh, the cult classic uh, airplane. Shirley, you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. 25 mils of the homemade pomegranate syrup. 25 mils of lemon juice. A nice big 50 mil pour of aviation gin. Nice big shake. No need to double strain. Straight into the cup here. Touch of soda. Ice to the top. Don't call me Shirley. It's really fun to taste it, actually. It's wicked, man. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you very much. Cheers. Today I'm going to make a twist on a spritz. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be limoncello based with Prosecco and thyme soda. Start taking some ice, start chilling out the glass. 30 ml of limoncello. With some uh, malic acid to get some citrusy, 15 ml. Fill up with Prosecco. And then a splash of thyme soda. Thank you very much, Jim. So we're making you the no BS Dublin Air Pear Salad. A little bit of lime juice. The pear puree. And then your honey syrup. Moving on, we have the beautiful Dubliner honeycomb liqueur. Finish off with a little bit of egg whites, get a nice film. Give it a good dry shake. Afterwards, we're gonna stick a nice honey and apple film on that. If you like, you can sip your selfie, or we're gonna use like a brand image today. That's 
actually really good. <laughs> yeah, it's really good actually. Yeah. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick tour around London Cocktail Week with us. Now we're working on a lot of new content at the moment and we've got a big announcement coming up. So keep an eye out for that. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we'll see you very soon. And I have to ask, which city in the world do you think has the best cocktail culture? <laughs> that's, uh, that's quite a hard one. Which city in the world do you think is best for cocktails? London. That's why we are all here, yeah. I've been to New York. Yeah. Um, cocktail culture in New York is absolutely crazy. There's some amazing bars. What do you think is the best city in the world for cocktails? Oh, it's a big shout, it's got to be London. <laughs> Greece, uh, I went to a bar called Baba El Rum. Yeah. Um, and that's in like the, the top 50 bars, amazing bars. Which city in the world do you think is the best for cocktails? London, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Right. Um, I don't know, I'll probably say New York.